Davy Richards looking for another suplex. This time, oh. suplex! What a kick! What a German suplex! Oh, oh my! What we need now is it's kind of shifted back to what I believe it always should have been, which is sport first. <clears throat> um, my trainer, Tony Gazina, had a student who put it best, wrestling should not be entertainment. You should be so good at wrestling that it's entertaining. And that's how I view it. So it's shifted back to not so much a size and girth and, you know, and, and wacky characters. And that has its place and that's all great, good and fine. But first and foremost, we need athletes. You know, and mixed martial arts has shown us there. There's a 145 pounder right now that's pretty much taking over the world. So that, you know, I'm not saying there's not room for big guys because there is, but First and foremost, you have to be an athlete and be able to bring something to the table. And if you can't hang, I don't care how big you are or what your character is, I'm not watching you. So that's the way I feel about it. The entertainment portion is great, and mixed martial arts has learned how to be entertaining. But still, at the basis, you must have good fights. You know, you know, WrestleMania. It's it's, it's spectacle. It's it's pyromania. It's it's lights. It's camera. It's it's the gimmicks. Whatever. At the end of the day, the main event is always wrestling. You know, like and. You know, my, my belief is you can, you can have your cool gimmick, you can be seven feet tall, you can be 300 pounds, you can have a rock band, you can have, you know, you know glitter, whatever, the whole nine. When you step in the ring, no one outworks me. I'm the best wrestler alive, and therefore I belong on top. And that's the way I feel about it. And uh, that can be arrogant, but that's, you know, arrogance is often a term used by the insecure to describe the confidence, so teach their own on that. It's all a story of human struggle. It's a story of a man learning how to overcome his own limitations, whether I'm smaller, uh, my girl left me, uh, I, I'm fighting disease, a loss in the family, I, I want to be the best. Everyone has a struggle, everyone comes from something. Um, and everyone is also fighting something. So it's the human struggle, whether it be mixed martial arts or wrestling, that must be told in order to captivate an audience. I'd say McGregor, you know, his, uh, his self-belief is, uh, is, is to be envied. You know, he's not a big guy. He, you know, he's, he's like me, he's not a big guy. He comes from nothing like me, but it's just his undying self-belief that just enables him to do incredible things. And that's inspiring for anyone. You know, it's, it's infectious how inspiring he is. I was always a fan of George St. Pierre. I don't think we all were. Again, for the same reason, his self-belief. And he was just, his obsession, you know, with, with being the best, it always inspired me. You know, I've always kind of been known as a guy that, you know, you wake up at 5 a.m. to train, I'm gonna wake up at four, and you put in eight hours, I'm gonna put in nine. And so those kind of things really inspired me. And I, I've always, always uh, been more inspired by true athletes as far as mixed martial arts, and I have professional wrestlers. I still don't watch it on TV. I don't, quite frankly, have much interest in professional wrestling other than the fact that I love to do it. Um, I draw my inspiration from, you know, George St. Pierre, Cain Velasquez, you know, Conor McGregor, and, uh, and all those guys. And, uh, so, <clears throat> huge fan, probably always will be, and it's just that raw emotion, you know, that's, that's as humans, we were, we were put on this earth to fight and, fight and reproduce. <laughs> so, you, know, you have those two things, you're gonna draw a crowd, so.